What's up everybody, Coach Malik here. Welcome to the video. Today we're gonna to answer two of your questions. The first question is can... Hold on, dude, this is... I was gonna do it inside the gym and do it all in my workout. It was really loud out there, music was blasting. So me and Stevie, we're here in the stretching room. The first question I'm gonna answer is from Alec Simone. Can we get a video on proper form on incline dumbbell press? Alec, I made that video right here. So what I'm gonna do is just pop the video right here and kind of explain it. The main thing, the main thing that you wanna focus on during the dumbbell incline press is that your elbows stay underneath the dumbbell. So as you're pressing, you don't want your, your hand in the dumbbell to come way outside or way over your elbow because that's gonna cause a lot of tension on your shoulder. What you wanna always focus on is when you pinch your shoulders back as you're pressing the weight up, as you see in the video, you wanna make sure that the dumbbell constantly, or your elbow stays constantly underneath your wrist constantly underneath the dumbbell, so when you're pressing up, it always stays in a straight line between your elbow and then right over your ear. Over your elbow, over your ear. And so that's gonna help a lot with pushing more weight, having better form, less stress on the shoulder. Another thing I like, this is one of my favorites, is breathing. So people may disagree or agree, but I swear, every time I control my breathing during this exercise, during any exercise for that matter, but definitely during the dumbbell incline press, when I breathe out and press out at the same time, exhale and press out, I feel like I can lift more weight. So as you're going, Alec, everyone else, try to inhale when you're all the way at the top with the dumbbells. And as you come down, exhale as you press out. I think that's gonna help you a lot with pressing more weight, being able to do the extra one rep, extra two reps. So try those two tips out next time you do dumbbell and compress. And if it does work, let me know down in the comments down below. Now the second question we're answering is from Jordan. He asked, do you believe in overtraining? What is your philosophy in overtraining? So what I believe in overtraining, guys, I mean, you hear it all the time on the internet. Oh, you don't want to work out too much. You're going to overtrain, you're going to overtrain. I don't believe in overtraining and it's not a conversation of overtraining. It's a conversation of under recovery. All right, if you train on Monday, chest, biceps, back, legs, whatever it is, and you recover enough by Wednesday, you have enough sleep, you have enough nutrition, you have enough recovery time, you can go ahead and work out legs or back or chest, whatever you did on Monday on Wednesday. It's not about overtraining, it's about under recovery. So let's say you hit legs on Monday, but you don't eat for two days because you're doing a fast. Could you hit legs on Wednesday? Absolutely not. Is it because you're overtraining? No, it's because you're under recovering. So think about that when you think about overtraining, if you're sore for a super long time, if you're, you know, you're not, you feel like you're not recovering or making progress, you've hit a plateau. It's not overtraining, it's under recovery. So make sure you get your sleep, make sure you get the proper nutrition, make sure you get all that. And like I always say, tracking makes it easier. What I do on my app, I'm going to do a screen share right here, is I track everything. I track my nutrition, I track my workouts so that I know exactly where I'm at. You should do the same. Track everything. It's going to help you out. Um, so do I believe in overtraining? I don't. I believe in under recovery. That's my answer for those two questions. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys got something out of it. Like I said last video, the bigger bench program is here. I said the last video is coming soon. It's finally here. If you go to the description, you can get it for free. It's a 12 week program and it's gonna help you increase your bench press by 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds. My goal is 70 pounds before April 5th, which is that 12, 16 week period. So get your plan if you're trying to increase your bench press. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate every single one of you guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with a friend and subscribe for more fitness advice, fitness tips, and how to increase your bench press in the future. Guys, I appreciate every single guy who's watching. See you next video, peace.